Hey guys, and welcome to another tutorial on KiCad. Um, I'm JP from Plumpart. So today we're going to speak about a term called annotation and also focus on how we can get our components nicely and evenly on our PCB. So many times when you, for example, go, I would quickly annotate. So this is annotation. So annotate is basically giving your components numbers that can be linked to your PCB. So D1, D2, D3, D4, R1, R2, R3 are all annotation or designators. So these are just a naming convention used in the engineering world. So for LEDs and diodes, you'll have D, Ds. For resistors, you have Rs, capacitors, C, inductors, L, and ICs, U. And then you get for switches, SW, and so on, so on. So that is what a designate is and an annotation. I'm going to show you guys what's important about it. So initially, when you do components on a schematic, you'll see all these question marks. This is the annotation and where we have to tell that, give it a specific number. You can have not, it cannot have two schematics with the same designator. So I can't make this D1 and this D1. KiCad will not like it and it's just not accepted use of the function. To get rid of it, you can always go tools, annotate, re clear, annotate clear annotation. So KiCad is made as easy so you don't make the mistakes. What you can do is tools, annotate schematic, and then you can annotate. You can choose how you annotate it. So do we go down and then up, down, up? So it will always go left to right. So in your schematic, your first component on your left hand side will always become one. And then you can just entire schematic or the current sheet. The current sheet is more for when you use hierarchies. So when we go current sheet, it's used for hierarchies. If you can been following us live on YouTube every Sunday, you'll see we're busy with this wall clock. So what it means by sheet is if I double click on my sheet, there's a video explaining about these sheets. Um, I can just annotate this page without annotating the rest. So if I go tools, annotate, clear annotation, it will clear everything. So now if I go inside, you'll see this is all question marks. Now let's say for example, I only want to annotate this first. Then I can go tools, annotate schematic, use current page only, annotate. Then you can see my C1, C2, C3 is only on this page and the rest of the pages will not be annotated. So you must, might ask yourself, why would you want to do this? Why not annotate just everything at once? Well, that's a very good question. So there's different reasons you want to do that. For example, let's say I've got a IC here and I've got my decoupling capacitors. Sometimes it can, can get confusing um, where these decoupling capacitors are on my PCB. As we know, decoupling capacitors should be as close as possible to your IC. So if I get tools, annotate schematic, use current page, then I will know my low capacitors will always be close to my ICs. Another reason could be is, let's say I've got LEDs with resistors and maybe a switch or something. I want R1 to always be with D1, R2 always with D2 when I place it on my PCB. So that can give you more control if you annotate on a page specifically then just to randomly annotate and you've got D1 with R4. So technically it will work. It's just uh, the way it looks. It's just, it just looks better and easier to understand once you look at the PCB. So that's why you might want to annotate a sheet or a page by itself than the whole project in whole. So once you annotate it, what are you supposed to do? So now that I have all my annotation D1, 2, 3, and you can see the R's, to take it to your PCB, you go tools, update PCB and then you'll see something window pops up and just read through the changes it will apply. So you can see it will add all the resistors. Normally if you don't see any red at the bottom, that's a very good sign. Um, so you can just click update and it should pop somewhere. Here. There we go. Now you can see it popped up here. But now if I want my components to be evenly distributed in these squares that I made. Um, so if I want one resistor this and then one LED like that and I want it in each square 
position exactly the same you'll agree with me it's quite irritating to move it make sure it's fine so i'm going to show you a way that you can do it without moving it one by one by one so what you want to do is actually you want to delete everything except the two components you want so i've got my d4 and r1 r3 what i'm going to do now is i'm going to make this d1 and this r1 so i can actually change like this and tell it later on please go look back and fix this i'll show you what i mean by that so let's first position it how we want to so that looks pretty good for me so once you've positioned it exactly how you want it in your square you can just copy it and then you have to choose a reference so what i'll do is i'll choose the corner here and now wherever i paste it it will you can see it moves away from that point that means i can just paste it in a reference over here and then it should actually be the same so i just can just keep doing that and if i want to be faster i just highlight it keep shift in copy choose a reference so in pcp design you always copy with respect to a reference and then you can see i can just paste it like that and then get a nice even distribution but now what you can see is i've got d1 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 that's not needed <laughs> that's not allowed actually because what has to happen is this d1 d2 d3 needs to be linked to this pcb it's the way the program tells it okay the, the links are made here if i put a y here it says i've got a link between d1 and d2 so if i place a y like that i've got a link between d1 and d2 so if everything's named d1 here the computer cannot know or the software cannot know where's d2 how do i connect it so what we have to do is just change this to r2 d2 and like that so once you've labeled it back to normal d1 d2 d3 by just changing the name like this it's fine you can go back to your schematic and push this button tools update again now it says multiple footprints found r3 d4 let's just look at it not on this one not on this one so it's probably looking at old stuff so what we do is tools update and we say reassociate with references so this just says i'm happy with what's on the pcb just reassociate with the reference from this d1 to this d1 and then push update so when you say keep existing it will try to redo what's on the schematic we don't want that we just reassociate and we say update now what it did is you can see it made that link so my components did not move and it made the link between my d1 d2 which i drew over here so that is one way you can do it you can copy with respect to a reference so i highlight it i copy it i choose a reference and i keep pasting with that reference in mind keycat also has a function where you can paste or create an array so let's look at that so these are all three by three centimeter blocks so let's uh, move this in the middle over there i can actually go right click create array and I can tell it I want three by three uh, spacing. Uh, let's see what happens at 30 by 30. And we can do it like that. There you can see it's the same what we did with our copy of the reference, but it created this array by itself. We're going to have to change D1 to D2 like we did previously, but that was an easy, quick way to create arrays. You can even create a circle circle array so there we just chose three by three because we've got three blocks by three columns and um, the spacing because i know each block is three centimeters 30 millimeters and then you can just push ok and it does it for you how nice is that so this is just a very nice way of first putting your components on your pcb before you link it to your schematic because it is not always easy just to go tools update um, update and then you get everything in a corner um, it's not always that nice because now if you want to move it one by one it does take time and it's not that accurate so that's it guys um, we spoke about annotation the importance of it d1 d2 d3 those are called annotation or designators how we link it to a pcb and how we can make our components on the pcb before even linking it to make it easy to place your components to connect them to have them in a specific spot 
without just having the all in one corner having to move it one by one i hope you guys enjoyed it hope it was useful please let me know if there's any other videos you guys want to make i'm trying to make one every wednesday night yes and as always please join me sunday night for a live stream where we do we'll carry on with a wall clock and i will answer any pcb design questions that you might have or otherwise just message me on instagram leave a comment below and all that good stuff if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you watch this far i think you should subscribe as well you lost it quite long um, besides that guys have a great day fantastic week wherever you're in the world have a good weekend um, yeah so that's annotation in a nutshell i will do more advanced ones about this but i think this is a good starting point bye